Hi everyone, welcome to Code Series. In this pattern programming series, part 1, we will see how to print hollow square inside a square and what will be the logic and algorithm for this program and how to print it. As you can see on the screen, this is the hollow square and this is a hollow square inside a square. So, what will the logic and algorithm to print this pattern? So, first we will see how to print a hollow square inside a square. After that, we will see how to print a hollow square. Observe this pattern. Horizontal is a row and vertical is a column. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 rows and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, first observe where we don't want to print a star. Row 3rd, row 4 and column 3rd and column 4. In this section, we don't have to print a stars in middle of that whole square. So, let's see how to implement this logic in program. So, we will open the VS code and we will create a file with the name holo square dot java. We will take first for loop. In that, we will print the row and row will, row will start from 1 to row 6. Start from 1, it will go till more than equal to and we will increment the row. And again inside it we will write for loop. In that we will control the columns. And the columns are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So column will start from 1 and it will smaller than or equal to 6. And we will update the column. So now inside this for loop we will write if statement a row is equal to 1 or 2 or 5 or 6, then we will print star if our row equal to 1 or row equal to 2 or row equal to 5 or row equal to 6 and we will print inside it star and we will concatenate space so it will look better we will print star and after that we will print space then star then again we will print space so it will take spaces and it will maintain a distance else if in this we will write if our column is equal to 1, uh, I will show you. If our column is equal to 1, 2, 5, and 6, then we will print star. Column 1, column equal to 2, column equal to 5, column equal to 6. And inside it, we will print star and we will concatenate space. If these both conditions are not satisfied, then we will print space. Else, we will write here out space and with this space we will concatenate space why we are concatenating space again because for this portion we are concatenating space you can see this is the space and again we will print a space then again this will print a space then here we will space and here will be also space and after this for loop we will take our cursor to the next line so what is the role of this statement so whenever our row 1 execution is done the cursor will move to the next line so now we will check our implementation of program is correct or not we will run this program so as you can see we have printed a hollow square inside a square so this is very important so don't take pattern programming lightly it's a very important so in this pattern programming series i will cover up every pattern which is very important with the perspective of coding round and technical round. Let's see how to print this whole square. So there is a little bit changes in program. First of all, you will see the algorithm for this square. Please observe the pattern. In first row, there are stars. In first column, there are stars. In last row, there are stars. And in last column, there are stars. If our row is equal to 1, column is equal to 1, row is equal to 6, or column is equal to 6, then we will print a star or else we will print space. So there will be a minute changes in this program. We will remove this else if and what we will do, we will write here if our row is equal to 1 and our column is equal to 1 or our row equal to 6 or our column is equal to 6. Now we will see the output. So as you can see, we have got the expected output what we want. So this is a very simple way from which we can print a hollow square and a hollow square inside a square. So let's meet in the next video part 2.